Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at a top of the line premium fifth wheel with one of the biggest bathrooms I've ever seen in an RV period. This is a 2023 Crossroads Redwood model 4001LK. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Redwood and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. I'm super excited today. We are taking a look at a luxury top of the line Redwood that has a fantastic front bathroom. Rear kitchen looks absolutely fantastic and amazing. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! You ready to rumble? We sure are. Tomorrow's the first day of the Hershey show. It is, but you guys watching this, the Hershey show is gonna be over. Yes! So, but thank you to everybody who came out and said hi to us. Yes! That's like one of our favorite parts of, of the show is getting to meet so many of you. And um, yeah, we love working at shows and meeting you all. Yes we do, and Will, what we love even more is reviewing RVs. Yes. Especially front bathroom fifth wheels. Yes. Super excited to see what this unit has to offer. Let's begin. Model is 4001. The actual tip tip length is 42 feet 10 inches. The dry weight is 15,088 pounds and the hitch weight is 3,152 pounds. Will, this is a huge fifth wheel here. Right up front here, we do have a painted fiberglass front cap that looks absolutely fantastic. And all of these redwoods that we have, they all have the optional full body paint which looks really, really good. Right up front here is the Mori pin box, okay? And then underneath here, well, look, I can just walk straight under. Right. Is it locked? Oh. Underneath here, we got some storage. Right here is gonna be storage, generator prep. And then here is where your batteries go. Man, and this is new, Will. These What's locks, this is new, these locks are still tight. Bugs. Yeah, those bugs are pretty crazy. They are. Coming on down the side here, we do have six-point hydraulic auto leveling, which is very nice. Your propane tanks go here. This is the Redwood. It's a top-of-the-line fifth wheel. Very beautiful and nice. And you do have the Furion side camera marker light prep. So if you want to have those 360 cameras, you certainly can. <coughs> right over here, we have very nice pass-through storage. Okay, right there, that's where your hydraulic reservoir is. You got your centralized vacuum and your in-command brain system for all the electronics in this fifth wheel. Right over here, we do have the Truma instant hot tankless water heater, which is very nice. And then coming on down, we do have these very nice solid steps, hydraulic assisted. And then here is a dog leash holder and a beer opener. Psh! America. America. Heck yeah. Actually, speaking of well, we didn't do that last time over there. I think we did. Did we? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's a great place to leash up your dogs. And then this does have the residential living climate comfort package as well. Very nice. Coming on down. Look at these tires. Well, there's saloons. I love those. 215-75R17.5 with the Moride LRE 4100 suspension. Well, that's four points of contact. That's, that's one right. of the best suspension systems in the industry. Frameless windows here. And then we forgot to mention, there's the power awning right. with LED lights. <laughs> Coming on around the back. Hey, man. Right here, we do have a nice fiberglass rear cap. Tail light design. You do have a 3,000 pound hitch with the four pin connector there. And it is prepped for the Furion backup camera. <clears throat> Coming on down, here's where you dump uh, probably just your gray tank because the bathroom's up front. Right. 50 amp power cord on an electric reel. I love that. Slide toppers, of course, already on. Yes, here's your second dump station. And again, it's in a fantastic place. <laughs> Great. Other side of the storage. Auto leveling, black and gray tank, dump valves, uh, your water connection and everything. Very, very nice. And then here is your propane tank. 
Cool. Well, well, the outside of the fifth wheel looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Watch your head there, Will. Yep. <clears throat> Check off the inside. Okay. <clears throat> All right, starting up front is a uh, master bathroom and bedroom. Coming down, you have the half bath, the living area, dining area, and kitchen in the back. Where are we starting today? Well, we're actually going to have you start uh, <laughs> in the back in the kitchen. But first, okay. let's give a big shout out to Lipper. Well, tell everybody about Lippert's tire pressure monitoring system. Tire Link. Yeah, so Tire Link is Lippert's tire pressure monitoring system, mm -hmm. and it works on your app, which is really cool. And um, it also measures the temperature because there are obviously multiple issues that could happen to cause a tire blowout. Yes. Um, I personally have had three tires go flat while driving before. And now you have the Tire Link. That's right. So that's like one of the first big things I would highly recommend to anybody. It's just a basic safety thing. Yep. And truthfully, everybody should have it. Well, on a motorhome, travel yeah. trailer, Doesn't 50 Will or pop up. Uh, we will actually link tire link down yes. in the description below. Will, show us this amazing kitchen. Okay. All right, so nice rear kitchen. I'll start over here. Plenty of <coughs> cabinet space, like a little spice rack there. Yes. Storage up top. And you have a nice big insignia convection microwave. Yes, yes, sir. Nice window here, good countertop space. Plenty of wine. Yes, I love how we're at the show and everything's decorated. Right. Hey, that's a hundred fifty-six dollar trash can. Sure is. Some storage here. Yes. A bunch very of nice. Everything feels like it's real wood and everything. Oh, so. of course, it's a redwood. It's a redwood. Bro. Yeah. You can't have wood in the name and not have real right. wood. Storage up top here. Yes, sir. Nice big Samsung refrigerator. Um, and it looks like this one does work off of 12 volt, which is very nice. Yes. And then storage up top here. Okay. Oh, that scared whoa, me. Whoa, <laughs> that scared me too. I thought that was- I thought it was a cat. Right. Right. Um, nice big window outside. So yes. Back into a site with a good view. That would be really nice. Huge counter space. I was gonna say coffee bar. I mean, you could use it for that. Taco bar type space. Plenty of storage there. Couple drawers here. Yes, sir. Very nice. I don't think I got that one yet. Okay. More here. Yes. <coughs> Solid surface countertops throughout the whole kitchen. Very nice range hood there. Hood range. Uh, four burner insignia cooktop with the residential sized oven. Yes. Storage here. Okay. Again, more counter sp top space. Tower of power. Hey, that's nice, tower of power. More storage there. Great, nice big sink. Spray faucet, uh, fresh water, and even a Fisher Pickel dishwasher. Especially that, Will. Yes. Well, this was a huge kitchen. It is, it really and, is. And then when you exit the kitchen, you come into the living room area. Now this <clears> unit <throat> does have the dinette. Okay. Okay. Uh, right here we do have daytime blinds and privacy blinds all the way around. Okay. Old school looking balances. Yeah. And then, Will, we had a trouble with this last time. And I, I know. Believe it's it's going to be the worse. Same. It looks like. Yeah. It's, you know. Is it worse, better, the same? Yeah. I mean, it, 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 it's a tight dinette situation. Yeah. Right here we do have the wireless charger. Nice little plant. Little decoration here. Um, and it's just a table for two. Cool. And then across, we do have a sofa and theater seats. So here's the sofa. This does come out to make a bed. I do like how there's no storage above. It makes the windows big. It makes it bright in here. It makes it spacious. I don't feel like I'm going to smash my head. And then over here is theater seats. Right here, you push the button, uh, heated seats, lights up, electric recline. We got cup holders here, a little bit of storage there. It's very, very nice. Cool. And then directly across Will is the TV Entertainment Center. Nice. Now this is storage that I can't get to, but you certainly can. Yep. Very nice storage. 
TV right here with the little lights, a nice little mantle, and a fireplace right there. Nice. <laughs> well, well, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. <laughs> Currently, we don't know the MSRP, but by the time Jen's editing this, we will have the MSRP right here for everybody to see who's watching on television. That's right. And well, it doesn't matter what the MSRP is. It really doesn't. Or was, because I know we weren't selling it for that here at the Hershey RV Show. And if you guys are interested in getting this unit, all you gotta do is go to matchrvreviews.com, fill out the contact tab. We are gonna make sure you guys get a great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience in the industry. That's right. Well, let's continue. Okay. We do have some storage, the in-command brain system. And then here, really nice storage up there. Cool. And then right here, we do have a half bath. Look at this thing, this bathroom is huge. It is. You have a ton of storage right there. One, two, three. Nice countertop, nice little sink here. You can exfoliate with the there body bar. Little coconut action there. And then storage underneath there. All right, Will. I don't know. I think we need to shut the door though. Will. Unfortunately, we do not need to shut no. the door because I could tell you with 100% certainty that this is not a prime pooping position. Mm, too tight wah, on the shoulder. Wah, wah, wah. Well, not yeah. my shoulder, my whole side of my body there. Yeah. It is okay because I have hopes for that front bathroom. Yes. Coming on up here to the front bedroom. Look at this, nice king size bed, storage on both sides, USB power bed, three AC units in this fifth wheel. We have storage right there and storage right there, okay. which is very nice. And then over here, really nice storage. Yeah. Some drawers underneath here. All right, drawers and drawers. Insignia TV, nice little art deco uh antelope looking creature yeah that's weird looking yep i bet you tony picked that one out too poor tony poor tony right here we do have storage again there was eight of those drawers and then did i open up this one i think so but well you can see it again there you go very nice mirror right here and then we'll check this out oh goodness i don't know will oh, wow well first okay. gotta do our due diligence check we out the shower here. the shower's Come fantastic will Scrub oh, your back. There you go. Get a little scrub -dub hey, going. scrub a dub dub, Will. Um, yeah, no, great shower. It's an encore. You have the head height. It's not great, but they did put this in the right spot. Yep. I love the shower head, teak seat, everything about it. Definitely passes. Bing! That's the shower test seal of approval. That's right. Right over here is the dual sink. Very nice. Good storage right here. Plenty of space here to get ready. Okay. Storage there storage there okay and then you got all these drawers here very nice okay. and then well you just hang this up there cool oh man porcelain they done messed up didn't they well this is also not a prime pooping position womp 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 <laughs> Well, I'm not gonna lie, when I saw the diagram, you getting those dang bugs on yes. you? Yes. What Is are those gone? bugs called? I don't know. Fl Lantern, Lantern bugs? Lantern, flying bugs. I don't know. Well, I'd rather take a hundred of those bugs to the face than <laughs> not having a pride boom position especially in an ap epic bathroom like this. Yeah, but it's well, a disappointment. It is, it's a, it's a travesty. Here's what's not a travesty, Will. Very big, very nice walk-in closet. Yes, washer, dryer, prepped right here. Mm. Plenty of uh, space all the way around, lights yes. and everything in there. Cool. Yes, very good space, storage, storage. And again, the fact that there's like a closet to keep it closed is very, very nice. Yes. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review, that's the Redwood. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time we give you three things we love about the Redwood. Three things we just don't like about it. Will, what do we do first? Mm, let's do three things you dislike since we're in here. Okay, well then you go first. 
Well, no, I was going to leave the obvious to you. Go ahead, Will. We yeah, want to hear it. I got some different. Give us number one and two. Okay. What's well, number one? Number one is this terrible toilet position. Times two. I mean, come on. Not just that one, but the half bath. Yeah. The half bath was acceptable, but this one. And they just needed to spin it a little, don't you think? It's just the angle of the dangle, That's Will. Right. All they got to do is turn that sideways. Yep. And you would have been rocking and rolling. They but, messed up. But they didn't. Yep. That's just like number one. Well, what's this like number two? For me, it's actually going to be this room. And I'm a really? little surprised because I wasn't expecting it. I just feel like it's pretty tight in here. And this is on the tilt bed. Right. Which I I don't like the tilt bed. If they had to do it, I'd be okay with it. But typically, the reason that they do that is because you're getting a nice big bedroom yes you're just not getting that in here i concur will 100 percent agree that's number two and then will coming on down these steps is number three it's the dinette yeah big boy tested big boy failed big boy denied yes sir will um don't get me wrong we will could i could we could definitely make this dinette work it's just not ideal um, it's the curvature of the chairs. And yeah. I think they just try to get a little too fancy. I agree. Something a lot simpler would have been better. Well, well, that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about it. Um, do you mind if I go first? Sure. I'm going back up. Okay. All the way up. I do love this walk-in master closet. Yeah. This is very nice, big closet. You can store everything that you want. Everything that you need to have, it's very, very nice. I love that. Cool. That's like number one. Well, like number two. Mine's downstairs. It's that kitchen. Honestly. Go to us. Show it. Okay. <coughs> this kitchen is really nice and big. And I feel like they paid attention to all the little details, like the sink and the range hood the dishwasher just so many nice touches they did in here so many creature comforts that you yeah. want in a kitchen to really make it feel like home i agree yep that's number two and then well number three for me i have to say the paint job yeah and just the interior color choices now this isn't a unit for me but you can definitely tell it's a higher end unit yes i love all the paint jobs you guys saw the blue one a couple days ago the red one looks good the white one looks good and when you go to an rv park Redwoods stick out like sore thumbs. They do. They always look fantastic. They do. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, by the time you're watching this, we are over with the Hershey RV show, and we appreciate each and every one of us. But if you guys are interested in getting this motorhome or any fifth wheel, getting this fifth wheel or any fifth wheel, all you got to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com, fill out the contact tab. We're going to make sure you guys get a great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience in the industry. That's right. Will, what do you want to say? Yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching. And again, huge thanks to everybody who comes out to the show and uh, stops by our booth. We really appreciate it. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like and three things you dislike about this Redwood. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so much yes, for watching. And Will, we'll see you next time.